Welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. We'd hoped to be able to resume camping for the season this weekend and therefore bring you our first shot on location travel episode of Grand Adventure this weekend as well. However, uh, you can see from the weather behind me, uh, that's not happening. So we're going to put it off for a week. Right now, the forecast for next weekend looks absolutely spectacular. We're really excited to get back out there. But that means one more Kitchen Table Trips episode of Grand Adventure. In the spirit of camping, we're going to film it at the kitchen table inside the rig instead of inside the house. It's a very special place. It's known not to a lot of people outside of the Salt Lake City area, but it is just absolutely gorgeous. So let us show you on this episode of Grand Adventure. Stick around. Now, Heber Mountain and Duchesne Ridge are located about 75 minutes east-southeast of Salt Lake City in the Uinta Wasatch Cache National Forest. It's about a 100,000 acre area uh, that's east of Heber City and just southeast of Park City. So it's a perfect spot to boondock if you're visiting the Salt Lake City, Park City area with very convenient access to tourist attractions. Now, it's such a huge area and it ranges between nine and 10,000 feet once you get up on the plateau where you'll find just rolling hills right at tree line and ample room to find a spot of your own to plop down and camp. As mentioned, this is National Forest, so I recommend obtaining or viewing online the Heber Camas Ranger District Motor Vehicle Use Map for the Uinta Wasatch Cache National Forest. This map will show you upon which roads it's legal to boondock with a 14-day stay limit. I'll put a link to the map in the description below this video. In searching for your spot, I also recommend cross-referencing this map with Google Earth or Satellite View and topographic maps. If you need help in doing this, I recommend watching our Boondocking 101 video, which I'm now linking in the top right corner of this video if you're watching via PC or mobile device. You access the Heber Mountain area by following the narrow and winding paved road east of Heber City past Timber Lakes, or by coming in from the north off the more big rig friendly Utah Route 35 at the top of Wolf Creek Pass. Once you cross onto National Forest land, the roads change to well-graded, well-maintained dirt and gravel that can accommodate any size rig. Because of the elevation, Heber Mountain and Duchesne Ridge are best treated as summer sites only, and the roads are not maintained in winter. Snow typically melts out sometime in June, depending on the year. In early summer, the land is lush and green, often sporting remaining patches of snow. Later in the season, like most of Utah, the terrain takes on a bit more brown in color. You are allowed to camp within 150 feet of the center line of any road upon which dispersed camping is legal, and the nature of the area's topography lends itself to many flat campsites. ATVs are allowed on many roads, but the area between Utah 35, across Duchesne Ridge to the road ascending from Timber Lakes, is restricted to highway legal vehicles only, providing more peace and quiet for those of us who don't ride. Views stretch from the Wasatch Mountains to the west, to the high peaks of the western Uinta Mountains to the north. Fishermen will find frisky trout in the numerous lakes of the Uintas and in Current Creek Reservoir at the southern end of this region. Available cell service varies widely. We've found a few sites with a usable signal on Verizon, while broad expanses of this area have no mobile phone service whatsoever. This area is popular with many residents of the Wasatch Front, and accordingly, it can become rather busy on weekends, but with 100,000 acres upon which to spread out, you're almost certain to find your own little slice of heaven. Now, like most National Forest boondocking areas, uh, the Heber Mountain Duchesne Ridge area has a 14-day stay limit, but that's plenty to see all the attractions that the area has to offer. Uh, we hope that you've enjoyed this episode of Grand Adventure. If you did, please give us a thumbs up down below. 
Uh, if you have any questions or comments about visiting the area, please hit us up in the comments section down below and we'll do our best to try to help out. If you like this video, we also invite you to subscribe in case you're not yet one of our grand adventurers. You can do so by clicking on our logo right here on the screen. Thank you very much. Next time, we will be out on the road and we look forward to having you with us. But until that next time, just remember life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you soon.